Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, Rab and Jade joined the party. Found out Rab is my grandfather, and Jade is the long lost princess of Heliodor. So, Hendrick's familiar with her. Yeah, she was presumed dead. At least that's what a lot of people think. Alright. So let's go ahead and zoom to Puerto Valor and advance the uh, story. Be able to start doing some really good stuff in this video. Okay, darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a. Ciao for now! Uh huh. What came over him all of a sudden? <clears throat> Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Yeah, sorry about my throat right now. It's kind of oh, fucked up. And, uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far <coughs> as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? All right. Let's have a nice wee chat, shall we? Listen. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this guy is just. gets along with everybody, man. What's up? Like Silvando. What's up, Silvando? Scared. He ran off. Oh well. <coughs> yeah, might as well go right there. Right? to see you after so many years and your companions too of course good to see you looking so well Cervantes now I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat is he ah, lo siento señor so sorry but I am afraid he has gone to Eliador he's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship you see Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and fighting. <laughs> Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? You wanted to speak to me? No, 
Hello there, laddie. Oh, hi! I've been thinking. Oh, well. The world's biggest well? Huh. What's up? Alright. Let's go ahead and board the ship. Do what we gotta do. Actually, wouldn't it wouldn't be easier if I just zoomed to... Yeah. I'll just do that. So. Hmm. Oh. What? A girl that's from the mountains is scared of heights? That's not a good combination. Our pal Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Thank you. Mother Mia, is it him? Surprise Silvano didn't go below deck. That would have been a smart thing to do anyways. <laughs> if you want to avoid being seen, right? Alright, man. Now we can explore the outer sea areas. You want to talk? That's not like no, you. Alright, I guess you guys are all saying the same things. Easy. Yeah, normally I try to get these three pepped up right here, and then I just switch them out as they get pepped up with uh, with these three. That's usually what I do most of the time. Need some help. Veronica is always my number four. Yeah. Forgot to do that. 
Uh, follow orders. There we go. Where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! See light up ahead. <clears throat> Where in the world are we? Good question. Very good question. The fuck? You just called me Dollface? What the fuck? I guess I am kind of a pretty boy, huh? Alright, so we are stuck. For the moment. Triangle. Hmm. We can make it out of here, huh? No wind, no waves. There's some stuff we can get here. And a chest. Hey, mini metal. I can go get a rune staff. If I want. Not really high on my priority list, but. I'll get it. It always saw it. What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey! What do you think you're playing at, scaring us like that? And there's no need to look so disappointed to see us. to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, 
It's just I thought my car was back, and I got all excited. Wow. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, who's this car you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lolo Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shil, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. <clears throat> but he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. Why not? So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... About this. If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the queen of the sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, I think you say no, I think they pretty much just yell at you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I think that's you, a lot of those. I'd be indebted to you. If you could I think there's actually a video on YouTube showing you all the uh I, I think yeah, I think there's actually a video on YouTube showing all the uh quest objectives when, when you say no, in case you're wondering. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the east of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. Th this is the yes playthrough. <laughs> I'm just gonna choose yes. As ragged as the ocean, a hunky chunky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Whoa, whoa, oh. get weird there. Oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but... Yeah, we're not going to be going to Lana oh Lulu right away. We're going to be doing some things, some side stuff first. Yeah, Rab is Let's really impressed nice with mermaids. And I'm not surprised, because they're some pretty fucking hot Ridiculous. mermaids. <laughs> Oh yeah, Veronica's gonna be the enforcer. She doesn't have a good explanation. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why it never hey. came back. It's 
So we gotta do this part to get the blue orb. Get the hell out of here. Let's go to Sneefelheim finally. I think we finally can go there now. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I knew that would happen. Okay, so we want to head due north. Skip the island for now. I'm gonna be heading towards the snowy area. These guys have a lot of HP. Otter shambles. And they kinda hit hard too. Wait a minute, I got Seed of Strengths on Eric? I could be giving those to Rab. What the fuck, man? I didn't even realize he had uh, Strength Seeds on him. Yeah, these guys have a lot of HP. So use your most powerful attack. Finally got one. Yeah, ow! Ow! I'm not even sure if you can parry those, uh, those freaking attacks they do. Nice critical. seem to hit these guys with anything. Yeah, Jade's almost out of MP. <laughs> it's alright. <clears throat> but yeah, what the hell? Uh... Uh, how the hell did that happen, man? <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple more strength seeds I can use. Totally gonna use on Rab. Boy, uh, he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Alright, first things first. Let's disembark here. Welcome to Sniffleheim. Rainbow glows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Listen up, laddie. Okay. King Gustav. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but... I wasn't Nothing to say, huh? It, but... Oh man, it seems kind of gloomy and shitty right now, man. At least if it was sunny out, it would look better. Yeah, it is freaking freezing.
Oh, Silvano wants to build a fucking snowman. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. <clears throat> Wait, what? What do you mean our journey's wasted? I'll show you wasted. Hey, hey, girl. Damn, man. This is a pretty shitty place. Why would anybody want to live here? Here we are. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffelheim. Home to the famous Blue Orb. Uh, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. <laughs> that must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. What, that cat suit's not keeping you warm enough, Veronica? Come on, man. <laughs> Try to keep you warm. Huh? What's this? What the? The gates are covered in ice. Look, they're frozen shut. How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Yeah, totally. Come on, Serena. <laughs> ah, you the point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Darling. Alright, so it's dead you silent to too, to huh? Me? Still mm. nothing to say from Eric. Being really quiet. Basically, he's acting like Solvando right now. Alright, so the main reason I want to come here now is because this is a brand new campsite that you can zoom to, but that's not why this campsite is good. Buy some amazing equipment here for this point. Yes, yeah, so you can get a razor wing, which is a enormous upgrade. Not only does it have amazing attack power that you can upgrade even more if you decide to plus three, but it has a 12% paralyze on attack. It is awesome. It is kind of pricey. But that's okay. Uh medicinal herbs but yeah that is a very very nice upgrade uh, and the um, paralyze effect also works with unbridled blade I'm not sure if it's like a less chance because it's a skill I'm thinking it's probably about the same Uh, yeah, I don't need these. I don't need these fucking medicinal herbs anymore. They're worthless. Plus, I'm gonna use them to heal outside of battle. No, actually, this is worthless because I got snooze. Keep that around, I guess. Yeah, these fucking... 
Nah, I'll do more of that later. Anyway. Sorry about that. Swordbreaker. 8% chance of reducing enemy attack power when attacking. This isn't too bad of a dagger, actually. It's not bad. Uh... Oh, get up to 10% if you upgrade it. Yeah, I'll, I, I might get that. Already got, a, yeah, I got, scorp I got something better than a scorpion tail already. Or no, that's what I have for her. Steel claws. Yeah, I want to get these too. Yeah, let's get one for Jade. And another one for Rab. White shield. That's garbage. That is crap. <clears throat> Ooh, here we go. Here's some good stuff. Elemental damage taken reduced by 8%. Magic vestment. You can use this. A lot of characters can use this. Elemental damage taken reduced by 18%. Yeah, the characters that can't use it. Fett and Eric, well, they've been missing out, man. This is very good. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to get it for Rab. But I am going to get it for Veronica. Absolutely for Veronica. That's like a no-brainer. What do we got here? Silver Tiara. That's crap. Yeah, it helps with spells. And... That's all I care about. For the moment, I think. Anti-freeze earrings. Those are alright. But yeah, nah. I gotta get this for Serena. It's way better than a dancer costume. That dancer costume was good, but yeah, it's been replaced. Any better? Oh, you know? What did I have equipped on you before? I don't even remember what the fuck I had on him. But yeah, I just blew like a whole bunch of my gold. <laughs> But whatever, it'll be worth it. Uh, I might get these. Maybe. Actually, you know what? Fuck it, I'm getting one. Eric's getting it. That's gonna be... You know what? That, yeah, that's gonna be way better than an assassin dagger anyway. That That's gonna be a good purchase, I think. That is going to be good. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be worth upgrading, too. Just for that little bit of extra percentage. Because, yeah, if I can attack with Eric and lower enemies' def or attack power, that'll be nice in boss fights. Uh, let's see. I'm, on, uh, I'm running out of gold here. What can I sell? Oh, I got stuff to sell, right? Yeah, I really don't need these fucking fur ponchos anymore. Let's sell these. Yeah, I don't need this bullshit. Don't need a battle whip. Don't need a fucking... Actually, I don't know if I need that or not. Well, actually, no, I don't. If it's in here, I don't.
It's telling me I... Oh, I... What? I can't get another bronze lance? Doesn't look that valuable. It's telling me a tortoise shell is, is valuable now? What the hell, man? Yeah, prayer rings. Actually, I'll keep those around for jade. I probably shouldn't do this on screen. But whatever. If you guys don't mind. Tough guides. Yeah, these, this is crap. Uh, I would never use that. I don't know why it's worth so much. Um, uh, yeah. I don't think it uses. I don't think you use it for anything later. Yeah, this wings of serendipity, man. It's pretty. I think in the PlayStation Four version, instead of the wings of serendipity, you get the. Uh, I think the pre-order bonus was a fucking vest for success. Wait a minute. Where did this? Why is this in the bag? No, I don't want to sell a Hermes hat. Who can I give the Hermes hat to better? Solvando, yeah. I need Solvando to have more agility. I think pretty soon we're going to be able to find an outfit for Solvando. Where is that? Okay, you got a Devil Tail. I'm probably going to want a Devil Tail for Sil Silvano too, as well. Okay. I got another accessory for you and you. Do that for now. <laughs> Whatever, I'll give him something. Give him something here. Strength ring. Yeah, that's so. That's fucking so, five. I mean, negligible. Let's go back to Octagonia. We'll finish up exploring the uh, caverns on there, you know, all that stuff I missed. Actually, oh fuck, you know what? I f what the hell with that? I'll just do that in the next video. I just remembered something. I got stuff I can craft. I got that fucking Drusillion gear. Oh, uh, I don't have platinum more yet. That stinks. You give him a steel helmet. Whatever, man. You know what? I'll just make him one of these. I mean, why not? And paralyzed does suck. Uh, 
Nice. That's good enough. But yeah, this malleable mask, this should be alright. It raise mending and magical might, so that'll help out with spells too. Yeah, much better. Much needed defense boost. I guess I'll. Keep the robe of serenity. I guess it'll pair well with the healer. Or maybe I should give no actually Veronica's got something better. What the hell am I saying? No, this will be fine. I'll just stick with the robe of serenity. I didn't really use this in my previous playthroughs, but fuck it. I guess it works. It's got more magical might mending, that'll pair well with the malleable mask. Fuck it. It works. Uh, what else can I get? Uh, yeah, let's rework this. Hopefully I can fucking plus three it. Oh, crap. This is gonna be interesting. Doubled. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I didn't think it was going to hit that hard. Ah, uh, this is going to suck. No better? Oh, come on. You can't give me at least a plus one. Ooh, to you. You suck. You suck, game. I hate you. I'm gonna try... <laughs> Should I try something else? What do you... You're also a star two difficulty? Yeah, I probably want to upgrade these claws too, huh? Or act... No. Maybe not. Well, maybe I should, because I don't think they're going to be finding... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting better claws for quite a while, unless I... Get those ones in the casino. I think the ones in there are better. Let me try this again. What are you trying to do to me, game? Hmm? Man. Yeah, that was fucking bullshit. Oh, come on, man. What a fucking disaster. Yeah, they... Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Uh, it's too hard, apparently. Uh, too bad. I am too much of a failure at this level to upgrade my razor wing. <laughs> oh well. It's alright. I gave it a valiant effort. Uh, man, I don't fuck shields. But yeah, the Dressilian gear is pretty good. I mean, it's good defense. Uh, it's good charm. 
Uh, raises MP, the helm does. That's also kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's armor. It's alright. It looks cool. I, I mean, I'll make it eventually and I'll show off the costume. Um, and also, well, if actually, if I don't end up making this later on, there's armor that I probably will be making that uh, is actually way better. I'm going to want to make it, and I'll, I might show off the costume then. I might just wait. Okay. But yeah, bunny tails. That is my first um, thing that I'm going to be trying to do. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get Vet Eric and Jade pepped up. And then when I do that, I'll use the Hallelujah Pep Power to, uh, to get Bunny Tails. Hopefully I can... Oh, shit. I just wasted all my fucking Perfection Pearls. <laughs> Although, I, they're easy enough to get. All I, all I gotta do is just steal Magic Beast Hides from those uh, Ursa Miners again. And then just make Fur Ponchos. Then you can get gold, too. While you're doing that, you can just get perfection pearls and gold simultaneously. Really? I can't save here without fucking clipping like crazy, huh? Yeah, see, some places I can save no problem, and that, you know, that doesn't happen in other areas like this one. It's just, I don't know. Alright, so let's go to Heliodor. I'm just gonna fight around this area for a little bit. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a bunny tail drop. Be nice. But yeah, I wanna show off the Hallelujah Pep Power. a few of these battles and I'll just uh, off screen until I get the characters I want pepped up. But yeah, we shouldn't have any problem killing these fucking things. I'm the last three enemies defeated are the enemies that drop stuff. Drop and shit. Alright, well, I didn't hang around this area to get pepped up. I actually went to uh, Warrior's Rest area around that uh, region and I uh, pepped up uh, everybody that I need to pep up. So let's, uh, let's get into a fight here. Hopefully, I get. At least three bunny corns. There we go. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Because you can only get three treasures anyway. Remember, the maximum amount of treasures you can get per battle is three. Hallelujah. This is the pet power that I'll probably use the most in the entire playthrough. It is amazing. And the animation is fucking outstanding too. I never get tired of it.
so you can get like double to triple experience. Uh, the amount is variable. Uh, same with gold. Uh, and you always get rare items. Guaranteed. Fantastic. And we get bunny tails. This is the most efficient way to get bunny tails. Use Hallelujah. Well, I mean, Hallelujah is the most efficient way to get a lot of things. But there you go. That's a Hallelujah pet power. One of my favorite, probably my favorite pet power in the game, to be honest. But yeah, once one of those characters gets pepped up, just put them in reserve. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so let's see how many perfection pearls it's gonna take to rework those bunny tails. Three pearls. Should be easy to plus three them too, based on the uh, the ranking there. Plus ten to agility. You know what? That's not bad. Also, I mean, if you're equipping two of these on each character, I mean, they get a nice twenty to agility as well. So yeah, hell yeah, I'll plus three of these. Where are the other two? Who's got the other two? Oh no, never mind. It just doesn't show. Never mind, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um. Yeah, I gotta get more pearls, man. Make another one of these real quick. See how creating a bunny tail is. How easy is that? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I almost feel like I want to use lightning bash. This whole fucking thing. Really well. Ah. That's lame. That's lame. Should have been able to plus three this fucking thing, man. junk can I make? Silver Rapier? Steel Broadsword? I'll make another one of these, fuck it. As ingredients that I don't care about. I don't want to waste my other stuff. Yep. 
Yeah. Two? Oh, that's barely enough. That's enough. One tail plus two. Now, if I fuck this up and I don't plus three it, that that'll be uh, well, that'll just be the end of the video. <laughs> It'll be a sad way to end the fucking video. There we go. I like that. Yes, I like that too. Come on. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. If this isn't brilliantly... Yeah. Outstanding. Now let's see if the description changes for the item. Because it said it's slightly increased. Let's see if we get to plus three if it says something different. It might. I think it did with the Wings of Serendipity when I upgraded that. Uh, uh. Okay, I guess not. It does the same thing. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to get... Eight bunny tail plus threes. These are gonna help us farm items. Supposedly, I don't know. I've yet to test it, but I don't know. As I acquire them, we'll see if I get more items. So yeah, I, I will. I will have done that uh, at the top of the uh, the next video. So that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, in the next episode, I'll go around and collect all the stuff that I need to collect that I missed in previous areas. See you next time. Bye-bye.